In this example, we're going to find the moment curvature relationship for uh, the given section. And uh, we have a number of points that we want, um, but we're first going to look at our before cracking behavior. For before cracking, we're going to use our uncracked transformed section properties. And in order to uh, find our uncracked transform section, we need our concrete modulus. And we'll need our modular ratio. So first, our concrete modulus will be uh, 57,000 divided by 1,000 uh, pounds per kip times square root of 4,000 PSI. And this will give us 3,000. 600 KSI. Then we can find our modular ratio, which is equal to ES, our steel modulus over our concrete modulus. So we have 29,000 KSI for steel divided by 3,600 for our concrete, and we'll get a modular ratio of 8.1. With our modular ratio, we can transform our section now. So we can transform our steel to equal AS times our modular ratio minus 1, and it's at a distance Uh, D from the top. And for all of our section properties, we're going to measure Y from the top. The first property we're going to find is our D, or the depth of our steel. So the depth of our steel is our overall depth, which is 20 inches, minus our cover, which is one and a half inches, minus the diameter of our reinfor or our uh, ties, which are 3 eighths inch, and then minus half the, the diameter of our reinforcement. So one half times uh, one inch. And it'll give us a, a depth of 17.6 inches. Oops, sorry, inches. So the next property we can find is the area of our steel, which we have three number eight bars which are 0 0.79 square inches. And this will give us a total area of 2.37 square inches. We can then find the uh, centroid of our section. The centroid of our section will just be equal to uh, the sum of all of our areas times the distance to the centroid of the areas um, over the summation of our areas. So in our case, we have two areas. We have our concrete area, which has a height of H and a base width of B. And we have our steel area, which has a overall area of uh, N minus one times AS and a distance of D. Um, so you can see that we have that in our equation. So now we can plug in all of our values. So we have a height of 20 inches. We have a base width of 12 inches. And h over 2 will be 10 inches. And then we add in our 8.1 minus 1 times as, which was 2.37, times d, which was 17.6. And then we divide by our 20 times 12 plus 8.1 minus 1 times 2.37. And we'll find our centroid, which we'll call y bar, uh, equal to 10.5 inches.
we now need to calculate our uncracked transformed moment of inertia. So we can use our parallel axis theorem for our uh, for for par our parallel axis theorem, we'll take our moment of inertia of each uh, shape or section plus the area times the distance between it and the um, overall centroid. For our section, we have two uh, main areas. We have our concrete area, and then we also have our steel area. Call our steel two and our concrete one, but we can find our I uncracked transform now. So the moment of inertia of our rectangle will just be uh, b h cubed over twelve. So we'll have our b is twelve inches, our h is twenty inches to the third divided by 12. And now we have our AD squared term, so we'll have our 12 inches times 20 inches to find our area. And then our distance term squared will be 10 inches to the centroid of our rectangle plus or uh, minus 10 and a half inches to the overall um, centroid of the section. So then we can add in our steel components. We're going to uh, neglect the um, steel term or the steel itself, and we'll just use the AD squared term. So we'll have our N minus one times our steel area times our distance term, which our distance term will be our D. minus the centroid of the section squared. So solving this, uh, we'll find our I and cracked transformed to be about 8,900 inches to the fourth. We now have all of the uh, section properties that we need, so now we can calculate our cracking moment. So we'll calculate our cracking moment. And in order to calculate our cracking moment, we need to first find our uh, concrete tensile strength. Our concrete tensile strength uh, will take as seven and a half roots of F prime C, and for ACI, our uh, units are PSI, so we'll have four thousand PSI, and find our cracking or our, our tensile strength to be four hundred and seventy-four PSI. We can then find our uh, cracking moment using this expression and just plug in all of our values. So we'll have 474 PSI for our tensile strength. Our I cracked or un uncracked transformed was 8,900 inches to the fourth. And the distance from the centroid to the bottom fiber of our section the point at which our section is going to crack is 20 minus 10 and a half inches. And this will give us a cracking uh, moment of 444.1 kip inches. After we divide by 1,000 pounds per kip to uh, switch the units. We can next uh, find our curvature uh, immediately before cracking. Um, so we can use this by finding our, our strain at the bottom fiber and dividing by the distance from the centroid to the bottom fiber. Um, so in our case, we can uh, plug in all of our values. So we'll have 0 0.474 KSI as our cracking strut divided by our modulus, 
which was 3600 KSI. And then all of this divided by uh, our C, which is 20 inches minus 10.5 inches. And we'll find our curvature then to be 1.3 8 times 10 to the negative fifth uh, radians per inch. And this would be the first point on our moment curvature diagram. Uh, so our before curvature cracking and our cracking moment. Which on a plot looks like this. So we're linear up to our point of cracking. So in future videos, we're going to look at how to develop the rest of, the, of this curve.